Hi everyone. Let me begin by congratulating you on the incredible volunteering work you've done. Over 900 young people in 36 different communities nationwide reached out to help others in an incredibly challenging way. And this localised graduation video is examples of the great work that you carried out, supporting hospitals, frontline workers, those living alone, nursing homes and homeless facilities, and many, many more great examples. But today, it's your day. It's your graduation. And Minister Roderick O'Gorman, along with educators and principals, have come together to say thank you, to say well done. So sit back, enjoy the presentation, and once again, thank you for caring in the community. Hi, everybody. Um, congratulations on your graduation from the Localized program. Uh, I've been so interested in what Derek and the team have been telling me about all of the things that you've been doing and how the Localized program has grown. It's incredible, uh, given the, the year that you guys have been having, um, that things have gone so well for you all. It's fantastic. It just goes to show that when you collaborate, when you work together, when you are compassionate and you think about what's going on around you and you decide to do something about it the changes that you can make uh, well done everyone i think you are utterly fantastic and i'm really looking forward to working with localize and with all of you again soon hope to see you in real life really soon enjoy your day now let's look at the incredible youth volunteering work that you carried out all across the country Obviously due to COVID restrictions, many of our activities were postponed, but one thing we all knew we wanted to do was give back to our community by volunteering. We had several interactive Zooms with Sean on ideas for the work and projects we could do, and the ideas and check-ins kept us all on task. With restrictions lifted, Sean visited our school, even though it felt like we knew him from the Zoom workshop. Um, I just want to say thank you absolutely so much. It's a lovely so, treat. We can't thank you enough because it has been a very tough year for all the staff. And the restrictions, even having to wear PPE in front of patients, even having to wear a mask, all that's really difficult. But I mean, to bring this kind of smile on somebody's face by a little gay and the decorations, we really can't thank you enough. We're absolutely thrilled. And to all you guys, I think it's fantastic. But a good group of representation from the nurses, from the carers, the managers, the AMPs, our activities, all want to applaud you and say thank you so much. Thank you so much for the gorgeous Christmas decorations. I absolutely love them and to all the cards, we really appreciate it. Um, myself, a group of girls and our localised teacher went to Conley Hospital to deliver the goodie bags and cards and I got the honour of saying a few words to the staff and I felt happy knowing that I've hopefully made someone's day and brought a smile to their face and I think that feeling is irreplaceable. I'd highly recommend Localize to anyone and everyone. I think that there's something there for everyone and there's, you're bound to find something that's suited towards you. Um, personally from Localize, I've made so many new friends and I feel way more confident in public speaking now. Um, I think it feels rewarding to know that you're helping people and it's great to know that you're part and connected to a wider community. We're very lucky to have made a connection with um, Local Eye. We have a very mutually symbiotic relationship. Um, their work benefits both the volunteers and it also benefits our residents here who are really delighted that somebody is thinking of them and trying to cheer them up in what's been, after what has been a very difficult year. So for that we just want to thank Local Eye very much.
Hi, uh, all to the localised uh, volunteer youth group. Thank you so much for these. They're absolutely gorgeous. There's so much hard work going into them, and we are so touched and appreciative of all of this, and it means an awful lot to us. Thank you so much. I think it's valuable because you get to help people in need, but also since it's in our school, you can you can work with your friends, which makes it more enjoyable to do. I think it's valuable because you're able to support people in the community who may need help in certain areas. Yeah, I think localiser showed you that even sometimes you don't realise that you are volunteering, you actually you are helping people. Thank you very much. I know you, you support the frontline staff every year and all the children in hospital and I thank you for that and that's the true spirit of giving. Don't ever give that up. It'll stand by you in your lifetime. So thank you so much and stay safe from all of us here in Tempest. And um, quite taken aback, really. So thank you so much to everyone for all their hard efforts and, and their work and their and really for thinking about us. It really means a lot. Thank you so much. Hello everyone, my name is Catherine McCabe and I'm the Dean of Students in Trinity College Dublin. My role is to support and coordinate the student experience outside of the classroom. So I oversee things like society, sports and volunteering and student services as well, such as health. Um, in Trinity, we think that interacting and collaborating with others uh, is really important and we want all of our students to experience this and have lots of fun as well at the same time. I'm delighted to be part of your graduation day. We've worked with Localise for a number of years now, particularly with Larkin Community School just, just up the road from us in Dublin One. The Christmas campaign that we do together each year is a highlight for our staff and students in Trinity. In Trinity, we value being inquisitive, pioneering, responsible, inclusive, collaborative, all of those things. And Localise has shown us that no matter what our background is or who we are, we can all make positive and meaningful contributions to our local communities. You've made such a difference to so many people this year in very challenging circumstances. You, know, you have become more resilient yourselves, uh, even if you don't realize that yet. Um, but you know, in the future, you will be able to face bigger challenges more easily as you continue with your lives. You have developed your creativity, which means that you'll be able to solve problems in more imaginative ways, and perhaps with some fun as well. Um, you've developed compassion. You know, you care about people, their circumstances. You care about your community. Um, you've developed organizational and collaborative skills, which are so important in all aspects of our lives. Um, and you'll see that as you get older. But you know, you work together to make a change in people's lives. And that's so important. And you know, you're going to build on all of these skills as you continue through your education and on to the next stage of your lives. You know, working, being part of your community, um, you know, wherever that may be, you know, and with your families and, you know, it's, it's all ahead of you. And, you know, I think what you're doing now will really help you um, to contribute in the future and make you more confident, I think, as well. Um, I hope that you take some time to think about the good work that you've done so far and give yourselves a well-deserved pat on the back. Uh, you should be proud of yourselves and your classmates. Uh, congratulations on graduating from the Localised programme. We would love to welcome you into our volunteering community in Trinity if you choose to come here when you finish school. Thank you and well done everybody. 
Hi everyone, Roderick O'Gorman here, Minister for Children, Equality, Disability, Integration and Youth. I'm delighted to have the opportunity today to congratulate everyone graduating from the Localised Youth Volunteering Programme. Young people have always had such a desire to do good in their communities and help others and I'm particularly heartened by how young people have been inspired with a sense of connection for the people they've engaged with over the past year. It's been a really challenging year uh, and it's been difficult for people who've been disconnected from families or, or, or loved ones. And after learning about the outstanding voluntary contributions of localised volunteers in the various projects, whether it be encouraging frontline workers in my own area of Dublin 15, reaching out and connecting with hospital patients, engaging with residents in nursing homes, or the many other incredible pro projects that you've all been part of, it's clear that you've made a really positive impact on these communities. Some of you may have been involved with this programme before, and for some of you this may be your first time volunteering. I really hope that the enthusiasm that you've put into uh, supporting your, your, your community and that real sense of passion and determination that you've shown will be continued well after this day. You've made an incredible difference uh, and I think once the restrictions for this pandemic are over and we're all able to meet and, and, and work together again, that enthusiasm, that uh, passion will, will, will continue to grow. So thanks very much for all your work and congratulations. Hi everybody. Congratulations on successfully completing your localised youth volunteering programme this year. One of these certificates here is winging its way to you as we speak, a certificate of achievement, and you have achieved great things in what has been a turbulent year. You have identified a need, you have taken action to, to be of service to people in your community, and that is very, very significant, and it is worthy of acknowledgement and praise. So congratulations to each and every one of you, and also congratulations to your teachers who have been instrumental in keeping the program going and to um, making it a success in your particular school and circumstance. So well done everybody. I know that a number of schools have decided to start the program when you returned after lockdown and will continue the program into the new year. So I just want to acknowledge those particular schools as well. We'd like to uh, congratulate in particular Volunteer Community School, St Mary Secondary School in Ballina, Mercy, Secondary School in Coolock, Kingswood Community College, St. Colum Kills Community School and Swords Community College, who all completed the Volunteering for All Award. This award is for your school and it recognises and affirms volunteerism that's already taken place within your school. It's a significant award because it also accompanies a, a, a charter for volunteers within your school that outlines the rights and responsibilities of people who wish to volunteer. A very significant achievement for the schools mentioned and we would encourage all other schools to uh, try and strive for the award also. We hope that you take the lessons of localised with you into your big and bright future. That the skills you have learned, the soft skills, the transversal skills, the skills that you can use in other circumstances, in other places, will stand you in good stead. And to remember that you have the power, you have the abilities, you have the capabilities, talents and attributes to be this change makers within your community. So congratulations to all of you. I hope to see you in person really, really soon. But until then, take care, mind yourself.